My name is Jim Ballison. I'm the executive in residence here at the Markala Center for Applied Ethics on the campus of Santa Clara University. It gives me a great deal of pleasure this evening to introduce Dr. Daniel Garza, who is both a sports medicine and emergency physician at Stanford Hospital. He is also the medical director for the San Francisco 49er football team. Uh, this evening, Dr. Garza and others will be participating in an event entitled Thinking Ethically About MRSA. Uh, my first question, uh, Dr. Garza, is can you give us a basic understanding, a general overview of MRSA, please? Absolutely, Jim. So MRSA, or MRSA, stands for Methicillin Resistant Staph Aureus, which is a subset of a very common bacteria all over uh, this room probably even. And the problem with MRSA or MRSA is twofold. One, it's difficult to treat unless we properly identify it. And two, it's becoming increasingly common. So now mm. we have a pathogen that exists all over the communities that can be picked up and unless properly diagnosed can result in some very serious types of skin infections. Such as? Abscesses primarily, and abscesses are very deep skin infections and they can grow quite large, they can invade joints even, and this can cause a lot of morbidity uh, and a lot of hospitalizations. Okay. Uh, talking about the exposure of young athletes, particularly those at the high school and college level, why is this such a challenge and problem for them? It, it's a challenge, you know, nowadays because really treating MRSA is a resource issue and it, uh, you have to determine where you put your resources. Is it into education? Is it into treatment? Is it into prevention? And certainly at the professional level, we have larger coffers. At the high school and college level, it can be difficult because our athletes can pick up the infection or pick up exposure to MRSA simply in the community, bring it into the locker room or the dorm or the classroom, and it can spread like wildfire. Not every exposure to MRSA causes an infection, but it puts young people at risk for these serious infections. So I assume it's highly contagious. It uh, is, has a very high rate of transmission. We have to be careful with that. Okay. So contagious implies that if I'm sick and I cough on you, you get sick. In the case of MRSA, since it's all over, let's say ubiquitous, if I'm carrying it, then I can easily pass it to you by touching you or by exposing you to my secretions. But that doesn't imply that you're going to get sick from it. So that's transmission as opposed to really being contagious. Okay. Uh, kind of a final uh, question. How might you take uh, the two or three best practices of a program that would be effective in eliminating or um, uh, marginalizing MRSA in this type of environment? Yeah, I'm glad you qualified that because we're, we're probably never going to eliminate it. And that's an important thing for people to understand. I think what's going on tonight is important. And certainly what we've done at the 49ers and at Stanford is educate. Educate coaches, parents, and athletes. And I think the first rung of that is to let them know how serious it can be and to let them know that it is important to identify lesions that may be suspicious. To a high schooler, pimples. To a college athlete who might say pustules, bug bites. These are things that should be checked out by a staff that has also been educated. So our trainers and our coaches need to know uh, what MRSA looks like and how important it is to get it treated initially. Well, let me again thank you for this brief video and also participating in our program this evening. Thank you again, Doctor. My pleasure.